Beautiful Me it's it's a conversation with um, yeah conversation with myself with the questions that I have um, taking my history into the context but also uh, very much it's a collaborative work which I collaborated with um, other choreographers of my generation so it's basically the conversation that exists between us and the questions that we have as artists who are making work um, in Africa and outside Africa um, and it's also a work that really questions leadership in Africa it also questions our history our, our um, fundamental um, history in, in, in South Africa, in Africa, but also history in the world. And um, at the same time, it's also a work that really reflects, you know, uh, the minds of young artists who are working in Africa and making work in Africa and living in Africa, but also in touch with, with the rest of the world and, and questioning, and questioning their own circumstances, questioning their history, their traditions, um, and yeah, bring all these this, this things into one, into one work that actually is, is, is seeking questions. Um, it's seeking answers and it's raising so many questions. Every artist that comes from Africa really have um, a struggle with their own identity of defining who they are because you know um, culture evolves, but also you know um, the history has evolved as well. As much as we we are going back into history, we're going back into questioning history. We are also making new histories, and by making new histories, we are also raising new questions of of transforming, of transformation, um, questions of identity of placement, of originality, of moving around and we also question, you know, borders now that, you know, are they necessary in Africa? Um, and so by doing so, we, we find that, you know, as artists, we, we collaborate more and more with each other and therefore we, we, we are trying to find maybe a singular identity, a movement aesthetic that is a singular, that represents an African an artist uh, definition. I think you can't define an African artist in one definition because our, our circumstances differ and the way in which we, 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 we work, the way in which we, we attack our own uh, circumstances is different uh, from one another. And so for and therefore the, our identities, um, though somewhere somehow are similar, at the same time they are different. <laughs> What is reported mostly, you know, from what we see from the Western context, um, through the medium of television and, and 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 print media, is that you know Africa is ravaged by by AIDS and AIDS epidemic and there's war and it's it's unsettled. It's you know um, and those those are the things that we hear from 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 reporters. But you know, as you hear directly from African artists, they will tell you that you know um, Africa is full of possibilities, and those possibilities are the ones that we 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 really feed ourselves as artists from. We we, we draw from different um, points of view. We, we draw from different aesthetics, and because there is such a vast culture, and there is such uh, vast differences as Africans, as we we continue to trade with each others. Um, aesthetics and forms and traditions, they, uh, we also um, 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 are, are redefining ourselves as, as artists, as Africans. Uh, well, the exchange between you know, the Spanish artist and African artist, I think it's an interesting one. Um, it's an interesting on, on many levels. One, on a cultural level, that you know, there are also similarities in terms of you know, uh, the, the movement aesthetics themselves, you know, the, the, the traditions themselves, you know, uh, the polyrhythms, the rhythms that exist in the body. Um, you look at, um, at, at some of the Spanish movement and dances and you find similar things in, in African context. You know, it's the rhythm that drives the body. 
And so I find that it's a similar context that we, we, we both are, you know, as, as, as African and as Spanish artists. Uh, it, it becomes like kind of an origin, a point of origin and a point of departure. And therefore it makes it easier from that context for us to be able to have an exchange, to have a dialogue. Uh, also because we, we're taking our own traditions into account um, as starting points uh, to negotiate, uh, to negotiate with the rest of the world.